to another episode of Luxury Utopia in Oxygen Not Included. My name is Rainer and in today's episode we're going to look into some more efficient metal creation, refined metal creation, because we have been using this rock crusher which isn't very efficient, so if we crush 100 kilograms of gold amalgam, we get 50 back, and then also 50 cents. So in today's episode, we're going to take it to the next step, which is the, uh, in refinements, the uh, metal refinery. So this one changes 100 kilograms of metal ore into 100 kilograms of refined metal. So no losses anymore. It does take a lot of power and it creates a lot of heat, but it creates the heat in a special way. It doesn't create the heat in the building itself, what other buildings typically do. This building requires a liquid as a coolant and the liquid comes out again a lot hotter and that is where the heat has gone to. So we need to make sure that that is not a big issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to make use of this cold biome here. Uh, we're going to make it such that we use the coolness here in order to keep the coolant cool. So we're not going to use power for that. In the future we're going to uh, use the heat to make power, but we're not there yet. We need steel and plastics to, to do that and some research. But we're going to make this somewhere, let's say we'll put it somewhere here. That's exactly above this ladder um, and then we also need to have some liquids so we're going to put that here and then we need some automation um, actually it's in plumbing we need a liquid shut off which I am going to put here and then we need some piping so uh, the liquid comes out here has to go through a sensor here. Wait, let me see a liquid pipe thermo sensor, which goes there. We connect this to the shutoff. Uh, and actually what this does is uh, if the coolant that we use is cool enough, we will pump it in here. And if it's not, then we're going to pump it up and into some um, cooling spaces. Uh, so yeah, this is going to go in this direction and we're going to have some slots here where we're going to make our liquids cool. Uh, then we have to go... Actually, why are we insulating this? Let's make a normal pipe. Because this is all cold anyway. Um, you have to go back into the in here. And then up here. Okay, so this should be that. Um, need to make a floor, so let's make a floor here, like that. We're gonna make some metal, whoops, some metal tiles out of copper because that's all we have right now. And then what I'm gonna do to make sure we can access the spots behind it, because yeah, these tiles are gonna be cold at the start from all the coolness around this, but at some point they're gonna lose their cool. Um, so yeah, the liquid comes in here, and when it comes out here, I wanted to jump in here, but this line should always have priority. So if I'm just cycling water here, that should have priority, and only if this is cool enough and this stops flowing, because here the uh, coolness is good enough, then I want this to come over. So plumbing, let's just make normal pipes, I don't see the reason to use insulated pipes here we're all in very cool areas and this is not a permanent solution anyway and i think connect it like this what is this now insulate still okay and then like that and this is still a liquid pipe all right so that is gonna be this here we need to dig towards it so let's do that like so is okay i guess do it like that. Dig out that as well. Actually, let's dig out these two as well. 
And then this uh, thing, as I said, it requires 1.2 kilowatts. So we're going to need to make some extra power. At this moment, we only have um, coal generators. We don't have, well, we have some hydrogen, which we will always uh, also be able to use at some point. But for now, we're still good on coal. So we're going to use the coal right now. Uh, let me see. I first want to have at least two smart batteries here. And then also two coal generators. This, of course, needs a floor. And then we want to connect uh, the automation, of course. We don't want the coal generators to work in vain. And then we also connect some power. And we're just going to do that with a heavy watt wire. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to connect these. And that will cause the... Um, oh, I, I guess I can just do this. And then don't build these two to make sure that they don't start start working before they're connected. And then... We're gonna just... pull this over to there. Alright, that is that piece. Uh, and then I also need some coolant, of course. We're gonna get the coolant here. We have some polluted water, which works. So we're going to go in here. I think... Thing. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a quick power transformer here and then we're gonna pull this down then we're just gonna use a normal wire uh, we need to have piles also this is temporary and then a wire which goes to here we're gonna go up and over Need some ladders here as well. And then we're going to set up a liquid pump there. We need to have the wire go in there. Pick up this. So that's the power and then plumbing. Liquid pipe. Let's go the same way. This is also temporary. So this is going to be very cold already. So I would prefer that it doesn't cycle um, through the coolness because it might freeze. And I don't want that to happen necessarily. So what I'm going to do... Let me see. How do I do this? Uh, I could... I guess I could go like this. And then have it jump into here, and then it will flow into there. That, and then it will go here, here, and then in there. And it will just stop here if everything is okay. All right, let's let them build a bit here. It should be fairly quick since it's just 25 kilograms of copper ore and 100 kilograms of sandstone, which is uh, not much, and I do because it can carry quite a lot. But I'm really interested to see what our Dracula is going to do. We are at 100%. We have a 20% for a Glossy. 21. And uh, sadly, it is a regular Dracula egg. Um, this one is at 91. Change per cycle, only one. It's not Groot. Yeah, it's Glum. We need Frankie. Come, pet this Dracula. Come on. He needs his teeth brushed. Very nice. Alright. And we have... Uh, this one has a 29% chance for a glossy egg. And it should happen this cycle. Okay. Let's get our fingers crossed. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, our duplicates are a bit cold here because they're standing in water. That's... Uh, it's 20 degrees. It's not that bad. It's getting worse here, of course. It's too bad that we have some water leaking here, but yeah, warm and ice. The mix is going to make water. Okay, been digging properly here. A lot of the cables already done.
All right, they've made amazing progress. As you can see, we have the metal refinery already. Uh, we have some automation to be built still. And here you can see in this um, machine, if we use 100 kilograms of copper ore, we get 100 kilograms out of it. Same for gold, same for iron. And we can make steel here, which takes iron, refined carbon, and lime. Actually, the refined carbon, for that, we need to make a kiln, which we don't have yet. This generates a lot of heat, 20 kilo DTUs. Um, it doesn't use any power, interestingly. I don't know how that can be, but it doesn't. Uh, so, but we're gonna put it here. Because it's super cold here, once again, uh, so this is not going to have overheating issues. And that way we can have a refined carbon, which we need for the steel, directly here. So that's also a nice bonus. Um, let's see how our draculet is doing down here. We have a third draculet actually now. Um, this one is... Oh, we already laid the... Uh put an egg down and it was a regular one that's too bad uh, and this one is gonna lay one more egg should lay one more egg at 30 percent this one's at 22 okay yeah it's gonna take uh, some cycles until we're there in the meantime how are our automation cables up done so we can also build these tiles now just want to make sure that i don't waste any coal here because we are using quite a bit of coal, we have two coal generators here. We have one there for our amazing machine that we built last episode. To generate red balls. And the door is closed, so that it's safe. From all the, gener uh, the radiation that we're building here. And we have also two coal generators here. So we have five in total. Let's see what we get here. Some gold amalgam. Uh, let me see, do we have something else that's interesting? Not really, so we get this. This is quite a bit of extra gold. I don't mind that. Let's put that with the rest. Alright, uh, they're building here already. This is already em this is emitting polluted, oxygen, uh, polluted uh, water, actually. Hmm... This is melting. I might actually just block this off. Maybe I'll just block this off indeed. Yeah. Just to make sure that the water doesn't leak out. Not that it matters that much. But just to make sure. This is polluted ice and regular. Let's actually wait with that. I want this ice to melt and then we have a mixture here of two types of um, liquids. I want to have pure polluted water for our system. But yeah, look at how fast they're building here. This is all already done. So we're just waiting for the water. Actually, we can set this. So I want this to be open so green signal if the liquid is above let's say 30 degrees for now so if the water is hotter than 30 degrees it will go through the chiller instead of into the metal refinery uh, this is ready as well so let's make uh, something like 125 kilograms so if i make uh, 20, that's 2.5 tons. That's actually quite a bit. Um, let's make 40, 40, 5 tons of coal. That's quite a lot. But um, that's a good amount of refined coal. The, uh, carbon. That's 4 tons of it. And again, this is just going to generate a bit of heat here, which we need. Because uh, it's super, super cold here. And uh, actually, it's so cold that if our duplicates breathe here, and they will, they will breathe out carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide, interestingly, uh, carbon dioxide gas, it turns into a liquid at minus 48. So 
it's so cold that our carbon dioxide will turn into a liquid here. Very interesting. This is now disabled, so it won't get cold. Nice. No power consumers. We're close. Let's do this. Gonna get a bit of hypothermia. Come on, bubbles. Do it. Yeah, it's cold, I know. Auto, take over, do the last bits. And there we go. That's our polluted water coming out. Perfect. Well, this is still erupting, so we're not losing anything. But yeah, this will flow in here, and then from here it should go in the system, into here. And this water is so cold, minus 14, that it should go directly into the metal refinery. But it has the capacity, of course, so then it will back up and we will start filling this um, liquid reservoir with more water. I want to have a decent amount so I can e equal out the temperatures. But we have coolant down here. But I'm not going to use it yet. Let me first wait until uh, we have a bit of reserve here. Okay, this is now full, so it's gonna back up, and now this is gonna fill slowly. Uh, we have a maximum of 5 tons of water that we can put in here. I'm gonna put quite a bit. Alright, so we are at 1.5 tons, so that means we can start cutting off these lines. Yeah, so this can flow through and then we can start deconstructing everything. Uh, deconstruct all of this. Just deconstruct behind the water. Now we can see how much we saved up. Okay, power wires. Deconstruct all of this as well. Everything. And of course the liquid pump we can also deconstruct. And this thing we can also deconstruct. And I guess we can also deconstruct these. Ah, we don't need to do that. Okay. Let's close this off again. Um, let me do there, and then this one. And then, let me see how much do we have. I was at one and a half. Alright, yeah, well this should be okay. So now, we can do like ten of these. And then what should happen is the liquid that is in here that is at about minus 15-ish. Yeah should go somehow it's absorbing more liquid i don't know why but yeah now we're producing copper that was too slow as you can see here we already have some um, carbon dioxide liquid here which is going to annoy our duplicates a bit but yeah here we go and then the minus 15 water is going to go into plus four so it's still very cold then it's going to go through here where it's cooled down again and it's going back into here. So this is um, pretty okay. This is slowly going to heat up, but that is fine. Alright. And then, of course, this was the starter. Let's, um, let's make one more here. And then we're going to make some iron from iron ore, which we also have a lot. This is going to heat up the water a bit more, the coolant. This is still very cold. So we're gonna make some iron now. Yeah, we have iron ore. And for the copper it was 4 degrees and this is 18 degrees. As you can see, copper heats up, uh, I mean iron heats up the coolant a lot more. But it's nothing compared to, uh, to steel actually. That is what we also can try because we have a bit of iron here, we have a bit of lime. We can actually make four of these. So let's make uh, two more of these. And then we're gonna make some steel. 
can see this is still 19 degrees. It's relatively the, uh, the same as it was before. And once those two are done, should be the last one. Okay, one more I guess. Okay, it's done. And now let's make some steel. I want to make all four of those. Of course that's not gonna be enough to do much. 400 kilograms of steel is nothing. But it's better than nothing. Iron, lime. And now let's see what that does with our liquid. We are at zero degrees now coming out of here. So we already heated up the water quite a bit. And this is coming out at 50 degrees. Of course, it's dropping in temperature quite quickly here. But yeah, this is going to pull the heat out of these cold tiles very quickly, as you can see. But hey, at least we're using it. And then, of course, this is not being used, but thanks to this door, we can build out further and further into this area and make use of the other coolness that is in here because this is, this is just an incredible amount of chill anyway we have our first steel let's also put it up here i want to see my steel steel and glass and then i also want to see iron all right 400 kilograms of steel nice All right, we're doing well on the copper. We have 2.8 tons now, uh, and Bubbles is making more. We have a lot more cute. So that is going very nicely, and this is slowly heating up a bit. Uh, not too bad, but I'll show you later on what happens once it's really overheated. Let's actually deconstruct this stuff here as well. We don't need those pipes anymore. They are obsolete. But it also helps to make this more clear, this cycle. Um, yeah, so what I want to do with this copper that I'm making is actually uh, exchange these power wires because they are very close to uh, overheat of overheating, overloading all the time. So we're going to exchange all of these just to make sure that we don't run into these issues anymore. Let's do all of these. Uh, let's go there. This way. Click, click, click. That. Then there. This. And over here. Up here. Over there. 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 And there. And that is actually all of our copper uh, for now. Of course we are making more but yeah we are going to burn through a lot of it uh, but yeah this is actually necessary and then we're gonna clean up all of that mess again of course because we have copper everywhere oh we actually have a hatch here and this is full so what I'm gonna do stop it don't um, groom these guys I'm gonna move there Okay, he still tries to groom them while we massacre all of those. And what we're gonna do is make this another stone hatch farm. And then we have let me see. Oh they they actually didn't have anything to eat. Alright, I guess so. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then uh, Frankie can bring this hatch into his new home. Still lullaby, nice. This one is also lullaby. Alright. Let's wait until we have some more of this beautiful copper. And how's our liquid doing? It's 20 degrees. Yeah, working pretty good. Still minus 36, that's fine. And these doors actually also uh, 
conduct uh, coldness or heat temperature very very well so I'm not too worried but yeah they're smashing it on the cables let's make sure that others can also come in here so they can uh, fix the cables it's all okay right let's make a bit more here 12 let's make this uh, 25 more we have plenty of copper ore and plenty of temperature to sink 22.6 degrees I guess I'm just gonna chill the water down in a minute back down to zero so we have some capacity for it to rise again because at some point we're gonna be at the flickering point where we are just above 30 and just below and then it starts cycling around there and then you use it again for a bit which is a bit annoying so once I'm done making copper here I'm gonna set this to a low lower temperature and then it's gonna cycle here to lower the temperature of the water again anyway making copper some iron here still at zero so we still are using more than we really have this is all done oh we we have a couple more to put there and we actually have an overflow of copper again all right let's clean up all of this and actually also all of that except for the egg that's lullaby it's lullaby this is not let's actually connect this one Ooh. the lock of wire connect this did we swap out everything i think we did so now we can handle twice the um, electricity on there. Oh, it is a little bit already. Frankie is super, super fast. Anyway, and now we're making more copper. Very nice. Some extra refined metal. Um, yeah, that looks very good. And... Oh yeah, last thing I want to show you guys is this uh, system, how it can reset itself. Well, not itself, I have to do it. But let's set this to one more. Because we actually have enough. Okay, it's done. So now, once this is all gone, I mean, I could do it already, but let's cycle out this already. All of the Hot water is coming out. All right. How's that chill? We are 20 degrees. Here's minus 44. Let me actually make an extra metal tile here, which will conduct the chill to these four. And we should be able to reach this diagonal, uh, diagonally. Because we don't have that much chill anymore here. 26.3 yeah we're actually pretty close so unreachable builds why can I dig this I guess they cannot interesting okay now we can reach but why that is so weird open it okay is it now unre it still says unreachable how can that be that's so weird come here auto move here okay it's closed again so now this is going again back to minus 37 very nice and now if we set this to for example uh, we want to get everything back to like five degrees then this will start cycling and we will chill this water over and over again so we'll see that the water is slowly decreasing in temperature because it's stabilizing here but we're cycling through this chill 
until this is actually at 5 degrees. Alright, that's working perfectly. And I think I'll leave it there. Um, we're gonna wait. These are all also shaven, so we now have 11 reed fiber, very nice. Um, I think in the next episode we're gonna make use of reed fiber to uh, make sure that our dupe can start using exosuit more. And I hope next time we also can get our this is seven cycles, and yeah, we should get one more egg from that one. We should get also one more egg from this one. And this one is still wild. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, tame very soon. And we need to pick up the last bit of iron here. And then that is gonna be it for this video. Um, yeah. So if you're still here, thank you so much for sticking around. It really helps me. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and like the video. If you have ideas for the next episode, something you'd like to see, then let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to respond to every comment that I get, of course. Um, anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.